Okay, so this doesn't really need epic music because I'm just making tea. Psych! It's time for tea news. Hot! Yeah, we're starting a new series, baby. We're like DK DK TV news, but we're cooler because we're called Tea News. Hmm? Yes, I do have my green tea that you wanted me to have for. Oh, it's gonna be too hot still. Yeah, no, it's, it's too hot. Wait, I don't even need these on. I'm not even listening to any- Wait, am I listening to anything? I'm not listening to anything. And also, we're going to be starting something new in each video. This is the song of the day, or video, so... Here. Now, what song was that? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. It was edited to me. He decided to choose which song to put on that he wants you to listen to. Huh? So yeah, if you like that song that I played, then listen to it. There'll be a link in the description down below. Oh, I've just given myself more work. Oh, I regret doing this already. Just kidding, because it's going to be getting some of you guys into some, like, hopefully just listening to a few more groups, not standing them. I'm not asking, just like, listen to them. Okay? Just listen to them. <laughs> but anyways, the first thing for T News. You know what? Some nice cold water could help out. Mm. No, it's still burning hot. So the first one, X1. Ooh, X1. Oh, they're already on Billboard charts. Uh, how could that happen? Could someone please stop? How could they, uh, they haven't even debuted yet, and they're on Billboard charts already? Huh? But I'm not gonna lie, that was the whole purpose of uh, Produce X101. Like, they want to be on billboards, and they're doing it! They're actually doing it! They're already second on Top 50 Social. Already second. Imagine if they take- okay, if they take over BTS, I'll be happy, but at the same time, I know there's gonna be a fan war. Because, um... Fan wars. Mm. And also, they're second on Emerging Artists. Okay? So, that's freaking sick. That's freaking sick. And they are 85th in Billboard Artist 100. I, sorry, I had to read my notes. I'm not fully remembering everything. But still, all of this before they have debuted, and it's been like a month since it's been announced that they're going to be debuting, basically. That's insane. Like a month since the group has come together, and they're already on Billboard charts, they're on everything, and it. It just, it's insane. It seriously is insane. And that is that section of T News. Mm. Second one we're doing is, uh, well, this is still with uh, X1, but it's a, there's a fan war happening between Victon's group, Alice's fandom, there we go, a fan, uh, Victon's fan, Vic, Alice's and One It's. Now, what could this fan war be? Ooh. It's something about something pretty stupid. So both fandoms are treating Songwoo as an object and they're like, no, he's ours, no, he's ours, and it's like, well, no, he's neither of yours, he's himself, and he's just following his dream job, and what we're supposed to do is support them, and that's that news over. But for real, uh, people do not treat idols as objects. They are normal human beings who are doing their dream job, which is being idle and making us smile, making us happy. Uh, and making us emotional, but we don't own them, okay? Okay, so we're here to support them because they support us with their amazing attributes and skills, okay? Anyways, that's how I see it. <sighs> Next news. K-pop singer Som Hyun has come out as bisexual. We support that, we support that, don't we all? Yes, yes, the crowd is screaming. The crowd is cheering! And now I just made an awkward silence for me! No, but seriously, uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, she has uh, come out bisexual and I support it. I mean, you should support it because, I mean, it's just sexuality. They can love who they love. Okay. I seriously support it. Uh, I haven't listened to her music uh, because, I mean, it hasn't really made me want to listen to her music, but I just support- Oh, there's a wasp coming into my room. Okay, no, it's not. Sorry, there was like a bee or a wasp like coming towards my window and I, I just opened it before and I was like, oh. But yeah, her coming out as bisexual has not made me want to listen to her music yet. I still want to listen to it, but 
I mean, I, I wanted to listen to it before I knew about her coming out, so it's like, I, I still want to listen to her, okay, and support her no matter what. So, should we do that now? Listen to some Som Heian. Okay. Okay, I already like it. It's like kind of a vibey, nice reacting song. A good song for some tea. I actually really, I'm, I'm actually really liking this. Okay, this song is actually good. So I'm going to actually listen to that during my own time and listen to all of her other music because thank you, uh, thank you, because it's awesome, actually. Okay, so whilst editing, I still have not listened to the song, but I was wondering, I, I mean, I've listened to a snippet of it from when I was recording, uh, but would you want a full reaction to it, you know? Like, I will, you know, make a full video just on the song because I really love the vibes that it gives me because it's just nice, relaxing vibes, and I love it. So I let me know if you would want me to react to this. Uh, so comment that down below. Anyways, uh, next news. Ah, uh, yes, rookie groups. Haha, <laughs> they're too good now. Now, every, every, every rookie group coming out just releasing bops, uh, and people, some people are like, whoa, rookie groups. Uh, I mean, whoa, my door is open. Rookie groups too good now. Yes, that is it. Um, people are saying that they're too good now, and um, that doesn't really matter. No, if they make good music, they make good music. Next news. I mean, I should probably do it my way. Next news. Oh, it's our final bit of news. Okay, we got some more for the news. Uh, like, I legit just finished recording. I got my everything put away, but like, my teen announces disbandment. What? No one saw that coming, right? I didn't see that coming. Did you see that coming? Because I didn't see that coming. That is what? It's relationship scandals. Daniel and Jiho and Momo and He Why did I do hair? It's He Damn it, Logan, you can't spell sometimes. Uh, I support. <sighs> Even though the Momo and Hato one, uh, I mean, I I wasn't really surprised uh, by that one. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool as well. But then it was uh, not true. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm fine with that. Like, I mean, uh, I, I, I like that, you know. Uh, I just support. If someone comes out, I support them. If someone's in a relationship... I support them. There's no point on hating them for love, because it's love, okay? But with the Daniel and Jiho one, uh, I, I really like that. I really like that as well. Uh, it's just like, it was a bit weird how fans felt lied to and how they are like, oh, Daniel doesn't love us, when he does, you know? He's allowed to love his fans and love Jiho at the same time, but he loves Jiho in a different way but he loves his fans in another way. And I support that, and I still thought that was a bit weird when I saw that he had to write an apology, but I, I fully see it. Um, you know, I agree with uh, what Daniel said in his apology letter. Can't really remember it, but I did read it when it first came out. And I, I, I was like, okay, fair enough. And then the next day, people were like, oh, we saw twice as Jiho doing Daniel's recycling. Oh, I support that as well. Keep the clean earth, keep, keep, Make Earth tidy. But yeah, in the future when another couple uh, drops, uh, let's try not, uh, you know, let, let's just support them. Uh, you know, like with uh, the, the Kai and Jenny one, uh, you know, we, the people got them to break up. That that sucked. And then with the Edon and Hyuna one, I mean, they, they had to leave the company, so that sucked. But they're better off now, so that's all good. And uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones that have happened. Uh, the relationship between the in-flying basis and a fan. I was fine with that. I mean, I don't see what's wrong with dating a fan. Uh, just don't tell them anything. Easy as that. Yeah, basically I just support all the relationships that come out and that's the tea. No, they really, that was like the last bit of... Last bit of... No, no, we still got a bit more. We'll just continue talking till the tea's over. Oh my god, that's awesome! So, like, the video could be the length of how much tea I drink, or the end of my tea, because it was, like, piping hot, and now it's a good temperature. But, yeah, uh, that was basically all. Uh, what do you guys think about the series? Do you guys like it? Me talking about tea news in the K-pop community, you know? It's like a DKDK TV, but from New Zealand, and it's called Tea News, and it's not DKDK TV news. What is it called? DK News? Oh, that was actually nice and refreshing. Oh.
Mm. Mm. If there's any more tea that you want me to discuss, let me know by commenting down below. Oh, dude, that was... Oh, that was nice. And, and when I talk about what tea you want me to discuss, I mean, you, I mean, we could talk about, like, the actual tea or, like, the, the news tea. I mean, I don't really mind which one, you know. Recommend a flavor for me that you want me to drink next. <laughs> and, and recommend some news that you would like me to talk about next time. Or if there's anything that you see that could be news whether you know, like a fan war or anything like that, uh, then, then let me know, because that's news. Like, we can talk about that. I can add my opinion on, like, what they're arguing about, and it'll just be me being neutral. And, yeah, other than that, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I've made your day better. If not, then, whew, I did a bad job. I... I did a bad job, okay, I'm sorry if I made your day not better. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace.